Okay, in this video we will be looking at order of operations, problem type 1. And so we see here that we have a problem. If uh, you have not already done so, you might want to take a look at my notes. And these, a copy of these notes are available uh, by clicking directly above the video. So you can click these notes. And basically what I'm going to do here is explain a little bit about uh, why we do things the way we do. That uh, obviously here the order of operations matters because if you do things in different orders, you get different answers. And while we don't like any math problem to have more than one answer, we have decided on this set of rules. Always multiply or divide first in the order in which they occur left to right. Then after you do that, add or subtract from left to right. I worked out a problem here step by step and then we'll use these uh, set of notes here to uh, go through and do the problem that we have. So first thing let's do is look at our problem, get it copied down, and we should be ready to go. Okay, in our problem here, notice that the uh, Problem is very much like the one that we had in the example. And what we're going to do then is to kind of look at that step for step. Notice here that uh, what we did in the example was first of all go through there, find the divisions and multiplications. In this case, notice that we have a uh, multiplication here first. We have a division over here, so we'll locate those. Let's do the multiplications and divisions first from left to right. So 2 times 5 is 10, 21 divided by 3 is 7, and then let's just recopy everything that's left. So we're going to recopy that, and so our first note here is that we will multiply and divide just like we did before. Then of course we can notice that anything that's left here is to add and subtract. In this case we're going to go 10 minus 9 and then plus 7 so 10 minus 9 is 1, 1 plus 7 is 8 so we're just going to add and subtract in the order in which they occur from left to right and we'll have our problem. So let's go ahead then and uh, go back to Alex, give that the answer 8 and see if we're good to go. Let's check that and we see that we are fine. So this is uh, order of operations problem type 1.